What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a simple platformer in Scratch 3.0, so let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is make a new project, and delete the Scratch Cat, and make a new sprite. Now right now I'll put a preview on the screen of this game, it adds one sprite, and the one sprite is the player. In this platformer, there are many cool features. So for example, the person playing the game gets to decide how high the player actually jumps by holding W or just tapping W. So the first thing you want to do is actually make the costume for the player. So my player is just a small little cube. Now, let's get coding. In this platformer, there's going to be two special blocks. So if you go down to my blocks, it's really simple, so just follow along. Press make a block, and then press add an input, and in the input, put moving up. And then finally, press run without screen refresh, and press OK. So this block, just like it says, is to handle if the person is moving up, and it's also to handle the ground. And before I start coding this, I'm just going to make a little test level. And also, make sure the color of your test level is black. So first thing you want to do is go into Control, and then grab a Repeat Until Block and put this here. Then go to Operators, grab a Not, go to Sensing, go to Touching Color, change this to Black, so Color Picker Black. Then go to Control, grab an If Then Else Loop Block and put this inside the Repeat Until Block. Go to Define, handle ground, moving up, and if you actually click and grab on the moving up, you can drag it out of here, and there's still an extra one, and you just put this here. So if moving up, then go to motion, change y by negative 5, just like that. And what this is doing, it's saying if this player is moving up, it's going to make sure it goes down, because negative 5 y is going down. Now, if it's not going up, which is in the else portion, here's what it's going to do. Change y by change this to 1, make sure it's in the else portion, which means it's always on top of this black stuff. And now, make two new variables. So for the first variable, call it in air question mark, and make the second variable y velocity or y vel. And you can also delete my variable. Now that you have those variables done, grab a set and air to 0, and put this also in the else portion with the change y by 1. Then grab a set, change this to y vel, and put this under the if then loop block, just like that, but make sure it's still inside the repeat until not touching color black block. And that's the first script done. Now let's make another block. Now this next block is going to be for walking. So make the block name walk, and add a input, and call it steps. And click run without screen refresh, then OK. So inside the walk block, go to motion, grab a change x by, steps drag this out like last time and put it inside here just like that and then go to variables make a new variable and call it ground lift then press ok so grab set ground lift to zero and put this under the change x y steps block then go into control grab a repeat until block and put this under here then go to operators grab an or block grab one equals block and put this in the right side of the or portion and then grab a not block and put this on the left side of the or portion. Then go back into variables and grab a ground lift block and put this on the left side of the equals block and change the 50 to an 8. And then on the not portion, go to sensing, touching color, and change this to black again. And once you're done with that, just drag it inside the repeat until block, just like that. Then go to motion, grab a change y by, change this to 1, and then go into variables and grab a change ground lift by 1 and put this right under change y by 1. Now, go into control and grab a if then loop block, just like that, and put this under the repeat until block. Go into operators, grab another equals block, put this inside the if then block, and change the 50 to an 8. And same thing, go to variables and put ground lift on the left side of the equals block. So it should be ground lift equals 8. Then, go into motion, grab a change x by, drag this in here, Go to operators, grab a multiplication block, and put this inside where the 10 is, and change the right side to steps, so drag out the steps block and put it inside here just like that, and then change the left side to negative 1. After that, go into motion and grab a change y by, put this under the change x y block, and put it as negative 8. This block does two things, make sure the player stays out of the ground, and it makes the player able to walk. And those are the only two blocks that you're going to make for the platformer. And the next thing that you want to do is go to events, grab a one green flag click block, and then go into looks and grab a show block. And for motion, just find a good X and Y position for your player. So for example, usually the player starts on the left side, so I'm going to put my player right here to start. 
So that x and y is about 214, negative 100. So it auto filled in here, so I'll just drag it under the show block. And after that, grab a set rotation style, left to right, go to variables, set, changes to y velocity, and make sure it's zero. Then go back into control and grab our forever loop and put this under all of these blocks and inside the forever loop and then go into variables, grab a change, change this to yval by negative two and put this inside the forever loop and then go to motion, change y by, go to variables, grab a yval block out of here and put this inside, change y by, make sure you put it where it says 10. Then drag this under the change yval by negative two. Then grab a change, change this to in air, and make sure it says by one, and put this under the change y by y vel block. And then grab a handle ground block, just like that, and go to operators and grab a and grab a less than greater than block and put it inside here. And on the left side, put a zero. And on the right side, go down to variables and put y velocity, just like that. And finally, drag it under all the stuff in the forever loop. So what the script does is it sets up the handle ground block so that the player does not go on the ground, it sets up the y velocity, and it just sets up the entire game. And now let's code the next script. So go to events, one green flag clicked, go to forever, grab a forever loop and put this here, grab two if then loops just like that. And in the first if then loop, go to sensing, grab a key, change this to a press and put this inside here. And inside the second if then loop, grab a key, change this to D pressed, just like that. And then go into my blocks and grab two walk blocks, just like that, and put walk negative five and put this in the if key A pressed and put the other one as five and put this in the if key D pressed, just like that. And then drag inside the one green flag clicked forever loop. And now let's code the jumping. So go into control, grab a if then block, Go into operators, grab a and block, and grab a less than greater than block, and put this inside one portion of the and block. And then go into variables and grab a in air question mark block, just like that, and put it on the left side of the less than greater than block, and then change the 50 to an 8 in the less than greater than block. And on the left side of the and block, all you want to do is go to sensing, grab a key, and change this to W pressed, just like that. Then go into variables and grab a set, change this to y velocity to 14, and put this inside here. Finally, drag this inside the forever loop, but don't put it inside any of these if then loops. And now, if you have the green flag again, as you can see, you can jump and you can control how high you jump. So, for example, if I go next to this to test it, if I hold W for a long period of time, I go almost all the way to the top, but if I only tap it, I barely go up at all. And now, let's code the effect behind the player when the player moves. So go to control, grab a create clone of myself, and put this inside the forever loop above all this if then loops, and then grab a when I start as a clone block and put this right here. Go to looks, show, set, changes to ghost effect to zero, and put this right here. Go to set size to 100, go to control, repeat 10, put this under all that stuff, go to looks, change size by negative 10 and put this inside here and then put change ghost effect by 10 and put this also inside the repeat 10 block just like that and under the repeat 10 block put hide control delete this clone and now if you hit the green flag as you can see if you move there's a ton of clones and it looks really cool and once you're done with that all you want to do is just make another test level so for example here's mine so go back to the player and go to code and go into looks and grab a set backdrop to change this to backdrop one and put this anywhere in the one group flag clip block but above the forever loops and the next thing that we are going to code is make it so when you touch the edge of the level you go to the next level so go to control grab a if then loop block and put this right here go into operators grab one or block and grab one equals block and put this on one side of the or block and then grab a less than greater than block and put this on the other side of the or block. Then go into motion, grab two x position blocks and put one x position block where the 50 is and change the other side to 235 and that is on the less than greater than block. And then for the equals block, go to x position equals 235 and then drag it inside the if then loop block. 
And after that, grab a go to x and y block and change the x to what's up here. So that's negative 214 for me. And y to negative 103. And then drag it inside the if then loop block and put the if then loop block in the forever loop of the one green flag clip block, just like that. And what this is saying, it's saying if the x position is 235, which is the edge of the stage, or x position is greater than 235, which is farther than the edge of the stage, that it will go back to the start of the level. And there's one more thing that we need to do. Go to looks, grab a next backdrop, and put this inside here. So now, if you have the green flag, as you can see, if I complete the level real quick, it brings me to the next backdrop, and it puts me at the beginning. And then after that, go to your backdrops and go to your second test level and make a small little spike that's red. And once you're done, just go back into the player's code and grab a if then loop block. So go into control and grab if then loop block and go to sensing, grab a touching color, color pick by tapping on the color picker and choose your red spike just like that. And then drag this inside the if then loop block just like that. And grab another motion, go to X, Y block and put this right here. And then for the X, do it is the same as the one green flag click block. So for example, that's negative 214. And the Y for me is negative 103. And then put this inside here and drag this in the forever loop, but under all the other if then loop blocks, just like that. And what this is saying is if it touches the red spike, it goes back to the beginning of the level. So let's test it out. I go back to the beginning of the level and it doesn't go to the next level. And finally, go to variables and uncheck all these variables. They still work, they're just hidden from the player's view. And that's it for the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.